Hi, everybody. I'm Andy Beam. I'm executive director at Maine Audubon. And it's June. It's that wonderful time of year where everybody knows to make their way to Gilson Farm and check out the beautiful peonies that we have there. And with us today, we have a couple of wonderful people, uh, Elizabeth and Susan Spiller, who are family members of the Moulton family who donated that property to Maine Audubon. Betsy, um, for people who perhaps are maybe not familiar with the history of the farm and how it came to be uh, an incredible gift to Maine Audubon, would you, would you maybe tell us a little bit about that? My grandfather, David Edward Moulton, who lived, was born in 1871 and lived 80 years, was a man of uh, many uh, interests and talents. He's a carpenter, very successful Portland lawyer, a horticulturist, and also a public servant. He grew up in a very small farm in Maine. When David and, uh, was in uh, high school, he and his older brother started a, a company and made cold cream, which all the ladies loved. And uh, they earned money selling the cold cream, and they earned enough money to send both of them to Bowdoin. Oh, I mean, yeah. obviously. And um, later they did sell the company off, and, and he went to Yale Law School and started a practice in Portland. And uh, from there, uh, and they lived there over 40 years in the wintertime. That was the, their home. And after that, um, he got married and uh, had two daughters, my mother and her, Ruth and her sister Louise. And in at ten at ten years, um, my mother was eight, I guess. When ten years after he was married, his wife died. And at that time, shortly thereafter, in, two, in 1911, he bought 65 acres. Um, he wanted to start a, a farm which he did, and um, he, let's see, he had Jersey cattle, 65 Jersey cattle, lots of plants, and so he was a horticulturist as well, culturist as, well as um, a manager of a, of a farm. But he called it Gilsland because his ancestors, way back when, and there were dates, 16 something, in, which I don't remember. But anyway, um, he started, called it Gilson Farm because his ancestor, Thomas Moulton V, was granted land in, in, in England. And the land was in the Gills, G-I-L-S. And that's how we got the name of Gil Gill's Land, was that kind of a, a place, and that's how we got the, got the name. Betsy, um, you mentioned he was a horticulturist, and obviously one of the plants that Gilson Farm is famous for are those incredible peonies, which are just starting to bloom now and look like they're going to be amazing this year. So he, he had a great love of the peonies. Can you tell us a little bit about that history? Well, yes, I think his greatest love, according to my mother, was, was his panties. And they were very famous. He imported them from Asia and Europe. And they, he saw, they were so well known that he, would, he sold them to people here to $150, one single route. If you, I mean, obviously, they were very exquisite panties. One of the most important things that I always heard a lot about was that he always gave a red gave red panties to all the graduating seniors from Portland High School, and people used to come back to to the farm and say, "Oh, when I grew up, you know, because those people are long gone now." But but he was very famous for for doing that, and, and it just he loved the community, loved the, everything about. Um, the farm. You, you once told me, Betsy, that the, uh, the peonies, as they are located now, the, the more full. Oh, oh, well. That's, that's he, not really he, where they all were back, back in the day, right? 
Yeah, what happened was he died in 1951 and uh, his second wife sold off all the penny stock, all, you know, all the roses. they came in and dug them up um, to some nursery and so they were gone and 20 years or more later, they started coming up in the wild because obviously they didn't dig up all the roots. I mean, they couldn't get all the roots. And um, now look at 70 years later, how beautiful they are. I think it's absolutely amazing. And, and um, Maine Audubon moved the, and, and made the uh, formal beds out front of the, of the building, which, are so, which is so great. But that was from the wild, you figure from the wild stock of those peonies. So how true they are to the breed, it, it's hard to know. But, clearly, but, clearly they're very tenacious plants. And yeah, it's interesting if you walk around Gilson Farm as you and I did last summer, um, you can find areas in the meadows uh, where the peonies are interspersed with all of the wild native plants out there and uh, and they're holding their own. They, they are, they're a pretty strong strain, aren't they? Well, my parents had brought back a lot of roots. I have still a very few. I think I have one white one here. <laughs> that, oh. that, and I had a red one earlier, about two weeks ago. Uh, Betsy, now as you're probably familiar, we do a native plants program at Maine Audubon and Gilson Farm is also well known as a place where people can see us grow the plants and uh, can purchase them. And that, that ironically takes place about the same time that people are coming to, to see the, the peonies. And, uh, but also a great aspect of people walking the trails at Gilson Farm are to be able to see the, the native plants and, um, and all the wildlife, particularly the pollinators that are enjoying them. Would you, would you care to comment on, on that at all? I didn't know any ideas that, that you all have. I, maybe Susan has some being younger. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think kind of think, thinking about vision, I, I would agree with everything my mother said. And, but I would, all, you know, I think also continuing to think about kind of the whole world and the environment um, which you're doing and how do, we, how do we help people and in particular young people to kind of understand the implications of their actions, which are people, you know, the global warming and kind of improving what we do for the planet and um, having, having this base to use kind of for that education of kind of everyone in the local area and, and sharing that is, is really important. And I think absolutely fits with, with the vision that um, my grandparents, my mother's parents had when they donated this land that belonged to her, her grandfather. What would you hope the legacy of your grandfather's property being donated to Maine Audubon is, as people enjoy this beautiful place. The peony certainly, but even beyond that, when you think about that gift, what that wonderful gift, what, what are you hoping that people think about? Well, I think my mother donated, well, my parents donated the property in memory of, of her father, uh, David Moulton, and the fact that he, um, was a, uh, a wonderful steward and manager. And he would, you know, it was really a testimony to him and he donated it to uh, Maine Audubon, to the people of Falmouth and, and all the people of Maine, really. And I, I just hope that, um, that you'll keep doing such a great job. I think you all are and I know my mother would be very happy. And I thank you.